This is Scientific American's 60 Second Science. I'm Christopher Intagliata. In President Trump's June 1st speech withdrawing the U.S. from the Paris Climate Accord, he claimed the climate agreement was costing American workers in a whole lot of ways. In terms of lost jobs, lower wages, shuttered factories, and vastly diminished economic production. Of course, doing nothing about climate change is also an option. But what's the economic price of that choice? A team of economists and scientists set out to answer that question by linking up economic and climate models to estimate how much warming temperatures could cost the U.S. economy. And they found that for every degree Celsius the temperature goes up, it docks the U.S. gross domestic product, the GDP, by 1.2 percent. And that economic penalty will not be evenly applied because the southern U.S. is already much poorer than the northern U.S. today. And it's hotter, too. You know, if you're already a really hot location, heating up is really harmful. Solomon Shung, an economist at UC Berkeley. Going from 70 to 75, it's not nearly as bad as going from 90 to 95. Add in more hurricane damage, smaller crop yields, lost jobs, an increase in death and disease, and the analysis finds that climate change could eat up 20 percent of the poorest county's income by the end of the century. Effectively, we're harming the poor populations, and in some cases, we're actually helping the relatively wealthier northern populations so this means that climate change can actually increase inequality within the United States. The study's in the journal Science. Warming temperatures probably won't help President Trump reach his forecasted 3% growth rate for the U.S. economy either. You know, this is essentially going to slow down the growth rate gradually. In other words, it won't be a good climate for negotiation. Thanks for listening. For Scientific American's 60 Second Science, I'm Christopher Intagliata.